welcome to another video by RU Arty Kids. So today I'm going to be looking at uh, painting this sort of flower with watercolour. So um, I've just got something very, very similar and I've broken that down into sort of basic shapes and I'm going to use this for colour. Um, this is a bit of a template really, just to give me a bit of a guide. So. Let's start doing this, and obviously because of the opacity with watercolour, we're going to keep our lines really, really light. So I'm just going to get the line up. So I'm going to fold that in a little bit of half. Just good to give me a sense of scale. Like that. And I'm just going to... Just a, an impressionistic sort of size. So... All these little little rows, and then I'm going to take in just trying to create. Little shapes. Just to get a sense of layer upon layer of petals. And then start with the next layer. Always working our way in to this section here. Just using that one as a as a reference guide. So I'm just creating a sort of basic flower head, just as a reference guide. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start with these sort of uh, orange tones, which are going to go dark to light. It's obviously these layer upon layer. So obviously as the light comes out, we get more of a yellow orange and this more of a red orange in here. But I'm going to start by just putting blend or a fade orange on there. So just using a number six brush, got my water, uh, got my rag, which I tend to keep in my hand all the time, pretty much. And I'm using these little tins today. So what I'm going to do for each petal, I'm just going to put a little bit of water down on each petal. So literally just damping it and I'll lock, <coughs> lock the pigment and then literally just painting from the inside of the petal out, wash my brush, take that water off with my blue roll and my rag, wash the brush again. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pull that paint down now. Having that little bit of dampness on the petal, so Instead of just being wet paint straight onto that dry paper, which allows the paint to dry as soon as it hits it, by just adding a little bit of dampness first, just allows that paint to travel a bit like an ice skater on an ice rink. Just flows a little bit more. Wash the brush, take the water off. And all I'm doing, just to start off with, is I'll take that one to that. Is I'm pulling paint from dark to light of the petal. It's quite a ready orange actually. This one in my set. You get a little bit of a bleed. So remember that brush will soak back up as well using that capillary action. It will soak the liquid back up if you've put too much on. 
but if you just move that paint all the way out to a small area without taking that off, you are just going to flood that petal and you won't get that little fade or that little vignette. Yeah, it's very, very red on the screen. Even though it's clearly orange in the pot there. It's a very red orange. Just get that bleeding out. And let's just move that around. Just using that damp brush just to feather. It's almost like creating these little blush elements. Just going from the inside of the petal, putting pure colour down, washing it off, taking the water off my brush, and then pulling that paint out. Just keep taking that paint off. Just trying to coat these petals just to start off with. It's a bit dry. down there, putting paint down, taking paint off, Two and a two or three at a time, just working quite rough to start off with. And obviously, because I've damped the paper, that paint moves quite easily, and then we can really just bleed and soften that edge. Wet all those at once. Just trying to get some overall tone. Into the flower. I'm working quite quick and wetting quite a big area. And I'm sort of radiating out from that point where the stamen are. letting these colours almost like find their own way as well through this. Just using that damp brush to move the colour around, bleeding in from one colour to another. I'm 
I say it looks very, very pink on the paper, this one. But look at that on there, that is very clearly the orange I'm using. I'm just pulling a little bit of colour down in that direction there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on the edges of the flowers. So I'm going to work with the yellow. And because these are still quite damp, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bleed this yellow. So I'm going to put strong yellow down at the edges of these flower petals and then wash that paint off. Just take some of that water off. And then I'm just going to work that yellow from into the orange. I'm also going to just use my brush to pull just to get a little bit of detail. Just to just sort of bleed that in at the edges of these little petals. So I'm just going to re wet some of these, I think, because of that yellow. Onto those. those in. Because obviously I don't want to end up with any white showing because they wouldn't be on a flower, would they? Just working a few at a time. And then do the same again, just Get those colours merging, pulling, constantly taking colour off. And you get the great thing about doing these sort of things is you get lots of colour variation. There might be quite a lot of yellow on these top ones. And just get that pushing that orange into them. Yeah. Colour working into each other. And then we want to try and get some darker tones into this as well, more near the centres in and around the stamen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my lid to mix. Just going to give that a bit of a clean. So I'm going to mix up almost like a shade of orange. So remember to add black to your colour to make a shade of it. And obviously white makes your tints. In fact, I am going to take it straight, it's too watery that, so I'm going to take it straight off, uh, straight on, off the block there. And I'm going to work in between the stamen. Get that a bit wetter. And then on the underside, some of these petals, just bleeding in. And then obviously take all that water off, and then I'm just going to move that around. Almost stabbing colour in. Put 
to me. Blank. It's working the black into that section. working around just dropping some of these darker tones under the petals around the pencil drawing and then I'm going to work these in So I'm taking all the water off and I'm just going to just feather these in. I'm going to use the tip of the brush now. Just feather that in. Let's put some more orange back in. Some of these individual petals. So we're just trying to create this intensity, just taking influence from that image at the start with our own spin on it. So we can get lots of reds, lots of oranges and yellows just delicately bleed the edges of these just to get that bleeding on there just softening things up as it would be What I might do just with a slightly bigger brush is I'm just going to stab, stab a lot, some texture. Maybe a little bit. Just a little bit of black. Pencil crayon, or you could even redraw back in. I like the idea of just redrawing in some of these little lines, maybe of the petal edges, just to give some real nice definition. Or you could even, you know, put shadow underneath it if you wanted to with a pencil.
just to give it a real sense of depth of the background. I'll just wipe that off there. So that's my little watercolour flower, just using yellows, oranges and reds. And that took me just a quick little 20 minutes. Now you can take an awful lot longer time-wise than that, just to keep going, but it's just getting that impression of that flower is what we're looking for. Hope you enjoy that.